Greetings. In an early video, I was over here visiting this video, Jet Fuel Hoax Busted by an Australian chap called RC and CNC, where I talked about meeting a particular truther who was not of the very intelligent brand by the name of Greg Lavi. And here, and Greg has got one of these. And he thinks, because he's got a camera and has taken apparently loads of pictures of aircraft, it makes him the smarts, makes him more intelligent and more knowledgeable about aeroplanes than the guys like Airbus, Boeing. Embraer Bombardier that actually design and build them and develop them and we saw that uh, old Greg here not the sharpest of tools kept going on about 36,000 gallons being in a 747-400 and then proceeded to quote information facts and figures the Airbus A340-500 statistics. Sadly, the old Greg is a bit simple and he doesn't realise the two aircraft are different. But this fact wasn't going to stop Greg from continuing on showing the world his actual stupidity. And he play, plays plenty of comments and these comments are getting stupider and stupider until this late, latest one which is beyond stupid now please be warned this next section contains utter utter stupidness so Greg Lavi take it away and let's see what you got this time well his comment starts off so you understand helicopters and what that transfers over to jet airliners just because I'm a photographer professional and work with every format of cam camera and lens configuration known does not me also mean I know how to operate a cinematographer's camera and then the replies come in and basically he's asked by a couple of guys to go and visit a near somewhere local so uh, airfield or airport and see if he can be shown what's what and initially it all goes blah 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 back and forth um old greg here is not happy and doesn't really want to go but makes out he does and then uh, once these guys say that he, he's more than welcome to come, his attitude changes slightly and they offer to, for him to visit and to be shown aircraft like the EM Embraer 145, uh, the CRJ 900 and MD-80 737s. And then Greg's response was, well here's the problem. An Embraer 145 only holds 1,690 gallons. That's a far cry from 36,000 gallons of a commercial liner. I could see that amount as that's not unimaginable. Then Greg quickly re replies again with 6,875 gallons for a 737. Those numbers for fuel are not the same as five times or even ten times that claimed by a 747 or etc. etc. A large 747 aircraft can carry up to 55,000 gallons of fuel. May 1, 1997, that's from Petro Plaza's own numbers. So your planes you're offering hold a fraction, even ten times less than you were debating. But thanks you are for your offer. You alone have been kind. Cheers.
And there we have it. Greg comes out with the excuse to not go. Too scared. The typical truther runs away from reality. If he wants to so desperately to see 747s, he claims he's in the Los Angeles area. He could go down to Victorville, where they are have fields of 747s and they are having going to be having even more arrive shortly as the airlines around the world dump the remaining 747s post this coronavirus pandemic as they are no longer viable because they are not exactly fuel efficient compared to modern day twin engine aircraft but anyway Greg also reveals what probably is the reason why he cannot accept these large figures his little mind can't cope with big numbers so I asked Greg here one simple fact to clarify what he meant I asked this that could he? So he was saying now that 737s, 75, 76, 777s, 78s, A330s, A320s and all the other aircraft carry the stated fuel quantities, the manufacturer state, and it was only the 747 that didn't. And I asked a simple question. So where would that be? Why build every other type of aircraft with the fuel stated and then lie about the 747? And Greg's reply was priceless and Greg's basically wasn't very polite he said yes dummy well it, is it a difficult task to be dumb or do you actually try at it if you can't see a huge fucking difference between 1600 gallons and 55,000 gallons well then you are a douchebag well Greg I think you're the one that's got the problem here. You seem to think that they all should be carrying 55,000 gallons. After we wade through Greg's Dunning-Kruger projection there, it would seem that Greg can't get his head round that whether it be a small aircraft or a large aircraft, a wing is a wing and proportionally Regardless of the size of the wing and the aircraft, they have to withstand the same for aerodynamic forces, aerodynamic loads, and proportionally a similar weight in fuel. Whether it be 55,000 gallons, as he so desires, or the one or a few thousand gallons, a wing has to take the weight of the fuel. From small aircraft, such as the Embraer 145 family, as moving up through the sizes to 737s, Airbuses, A320 Airbuses, um, and up to, and finally up to the big jets like the 777, 747, various things uh, increase. Obviously, the size of the aircraft, therefore, the size of the wing ha and the wing area increases, thus giving you more fuel space which then provides you the opportunity to fit more powerful engines to be able to lift more and carry more it's simple physics that it seems to have um, bypassed Greg and so many other individuals they just seem to be clowns like Greg here which provide us with plenty of comedy and as you can see the smaller the aircraft, the smaller the fuel, and vice versa. Simples. But if you want more entertainment, come and check out Greg's many other comedy routines on this web on this YouTube channel. They are more than hilarious, and he more than keeps reinforcing how stupid he is. He's, he does seem to have a very good skill of pulling random numbers right out of 
the thin air that have got nothing to do with actual facts and figures quoted by manufacturers. He he thinks he's got nailed the uh, on the head, but all we do is laugh and laugh and laugh. Well, thanks for watching. That's all, folks. See you around.